guys welcome back to my channel i am louisa i'm going to be reviewing strictly between us by jane fallon so i have read this book in the space of four to five days it's very addictive and very entertaining and this other book called faking friends is from the same author without further ado let's get right into the video so i normally do not post videos about books or reading like most of my videos are predominantly based on beauty fashion lifestyle and personal like personal or girl tips but i decided to spice things up and i know that the youtube algorithm prefers or boosts people that stick to one subject only but i just want to talk about this book so if you've read it before then comment down below i would love to know and this video is great for people who are interested in my personal opinion of it so i'm just gonna say that i absolutely loved it like this is why i finished it in a short space of time um and i just really like her style of writing it's easy to absorb it's easy to read funnily enough although this is fiction I still feel like I am reading a real life story as if the characters are actually real and they do remind me of certain people from real life that is what I that's what I find captivating about this book and there's so much emotions put into it so I'm going to read out the blurb the blurb has really enticed me and this is what has got me to buy it so Tamsin and her best friend Michelle have been inseparable since they were teenagers even now they spend all their time together along with Patrick, Michelle's perfect husband. So when Tamsin hears a rumour that Patrick is having an affair, she is incensed. Unwilling to ignore it, she plots a scheme to catch Patrick in the act using her assistant Bia as a live bait. It should be foolproof. After all, Tamsin can trust Bia with anything, from her daily coffee order to fetching her dry cleaning, writing reports and doing all the filing. Bia does everything with a smile on her face, except Tamsin has never considered Bia might have her own agenda and if she does then Tamsin really needs to watch her back. But by the way if you guys are wondering I'm going to leave a link below um, on purchasing this book. It was $3.99 and I got this from eBay. You can get it from eBay or Amazon you know but originally it was $7.99. I do love both of these stories like I feel like the way that Jane Fallon have written these stories are just intriguing and also funny at the same time but I felt like I preferred this in some way because I felt like the characters were more stable, they were more mature, they were more financially stable. If you've read both of the books then you can understand what I mean by that. It's based in London from the blurb. Tamsin has heard rumours that her best friend's husband have been sleeping around with other women and has been having an affair behind her back and I had a gut feeling that that was actually true. The part that really interested me the most was when Bia, her trusted assistant, the one that she really confided and trusted in actually had her own agenda and was being kind of two-faced and plotting a scheme back I found that so interesting my least favorite character is obviously Patrick um, I feel like he is narcissistic and he kind of wants all the women to love him he wants to be better than everyone that's the kind of feeling I get from him I believe that Michelle and Tamsin's friendship was special and was valuable and i felt like he just wasn't the right gun and obviously it was clear that he was using michelle so that he could have his job at the tv agency because her dad hired him so it was pretty blatant to why he was with michelle and then he was sleeping around and the one part that really got to me was when michelle said she wanted kids at the age of 36 and he was like making her feel like she wanted them too soon and saying that there was no rush and that also made me suspicious because it obviously um kind of showed that he was you know messing around with other women i could tell that he just didn't want kids due to that reason and he was making her feel like having kids was the least of their concerns like personally for me I feel like 36 is old enough to have kids. Do you know what I mean? Some people have kids at the age of 22, 23, which is pretty young. If you've been married for a long time and you're over the age of 30 and you want kids, but your man is kind of making excuses not to and not being really clear, then there's obviously something 
that he's up to that is probably suspicious so that's what i've been getting from patrick so yes he's my least favorite character from this book and obviously i've known how tamsin and him ended up having an affair and then tamsin felt really bad and guilty and he was using that to get back at her if she confessed to her best friend about his cheating you know i know that no one's perfect but i know that tamsin she wasn't perfectly she did mess up like she did make a mistake but i liked how she dealt with it in some way and like it was such a plot twisting captivating book i've read like over 200 pages in one day um i do really like michelle from reading the book i think she is a sweet character i also feel like tamsin is kind of a bit too picky when it comes to dating and like she should have given the guy she met a chance but maybe i don't really understand her as a person now i'm gonna go into my personal opinion about br so i feel slightly sorry for her um because she's being used by patrick as a side chick she despises um tamsin she kind of acts like she likes her but she's annoyed with her and she's doing these stuff to get back at her behind her back such as getting her full fat lattes instead of skinny lattes so tamsin can gain weight so i do feel slightly sorry for her but i obviously it is clear that she's not a nice character she as a character made the story even more interesting the fact that tamsin trusted her a lot whereas she wasn't what tamsin thought she was the ending is really spoiler alert i'm just going to say if you don't want me to spoil the ending then skip this part honestly but spoiler like at the end i felt like the end was perfectly written there's a fly on my <laughs> lash bed by the way at the end it was perfectly crafted you know adam the guy that Tamsin has met on her blind date. Her best friend Michelle and Adam has ended up together and I felt like that was a great way to end the thing, especially since that was to make up for Tamsin and Patrick sleeping behind Michelle's back. And I felt like the plot, the way they caught Patrick and Bea out in the Covent Garden Hotel was perfectly written and planned out. And like they all got their karma, their revenge, and it was just so, interesting to read and i highly recommend it and i'm definitely going to be getting a new book my third book i'm proud to be reading these books and posting my personal opinion on this and if you have any opinions or any thoughts about the books if you have read them then definitely comment down below i'd love to interact with you guys but the next book i'm going to be getting is my sweet revenge so i just really like the font of the titles and the pictures of the book covers they are quite intriguing and they do relate to younger girls like me especially teenage girls yeah, that was my book review on strictly between us i like how the book cover includes a picture of a coffee and a lipstick it kind of conveys the atmosphere that is put in that book like it's a work environment like most of the characters in there are working in a tv company like the the motions that are put into this book i can actually feel them and that is one of the reasons why i was quite hooked into this that book my book review so i'm going to rate this out of 10 solid 9 out of 10 and i'm gonna rate faking friends like an 8.5 to 9 out of 10 personally i prefer this book Apart from watching TV or YouTube videos, reading is a great form of entertainment. It stimulates your mind. If you enjoyed this video, give this a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear your opinions on this book. Um, or if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a lovely day.